स्वागत है आपका शॉर्ट हैंडियंस गॉटेड चैनल पर वीडियोस अगर पसंद आ जाएं तो लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिएगा लेटेस्ट डिक्टेशन और जॉब नोटिफिकेशंस को पाने के लिए बेल आइकन प्रेस कर दीजिएगा ताकि आपको टाइम पे आपकी डिक्टेशंस मिल सकें थैंक यू सो मच Ready? Start. Honorable Mr. Vice Chairman, I would like to submit that the sixth schedule to the Constitution Amendment Bill, nineteen eighty-eight, will curb the powers of the autonomous district councils. With the adoption of the bill, the undesirable interference of the state government with the functioning of the councils will increase. This bill will make the autonomous district councils puppets in the hands of the state government, and as a result of which the objective with which the autonomous district councils were constituted will be frustrated. Therefore, I oppose this bill tooth and nail, sir. The demands of the district councils in the north eastern regions are for more powers. it is a fact that the district councils held meetings for more powers they submitted a memorandum to the central government for the same purpose they wanted that in their daily work and in their developmental works the state governments should not interfere they feel that interference from the state government will hamper the developmental works within their respective jurisdictions the idea was that the autonomous district councils should get all opportunities to function independently on the basis of their allotted powers i shall show how this bill curbs the powers of the autonomous district councils even in day to day matter within the jurisdiction of an autonomous district council the council of ministers of a state is interfering under paragraph 1 of the 6th schedule to the constitution the autonomous district councils are empowered to reconstitute their respective areas a council can exclude an area from its jurisdiction where the tribals are in minority and instead include a neighboring area where the tribals are in majority it is also provided for in the said provisions of the 6th schedule that the governors shall approve the determination of areas by the councils under the present bill the governors will have to consult their respective council of ministers when areas will be redetermined by the councils it means the state governments have been empowered to interfere with the reconstitution of the district councils again under the existing 6th schedule the governors are empowered to nominate four members to the autonomous district councils but now under the present bill the governors will be forced to consult the council of ministers while nominating four members to the said councils the district council is empowered to make rules for the conduct of its business under paragraph 4 of the 6th schedule to the constitution a regional council or district council shall have power to make rules regulating the constitution of village councils and courts with the previous approval of the governor they will also have power to make rules regulating the procedure to be followed by village councils or courts in the trial of suits and cases with the previous approval of the governor but now under the present bill the governor will be compelled to take the advice of the councils of ministers in such matters consequently the regional council or the district council 
will have to remain at the mercy of the state government even for laying on procedures for the conduct of its business under paragraph 6 of the 6th schedule to the constitution the district council can establish primary schools under the same paragraph the district council can prescribe the language in which the education is stop over to dosto ye dictation ho chuki hai aur jinko bhi pdf wagera aur audio matters chahiye ho personally wo whatsapp kar sakte hain whatsapp number about section mein diya hua hai theek hai exam ki taiyari ke liye jo prescribed speed hai 110 ka theek hai thank you so much bye bye